All right, my superstars. <laughs> so, again, today it's all about love, but it's love at a higher frequency. It's love in a greater way than you've experienced before because we've talked about self-love in other videos. We've talked about being loving and lovable. But then over the last two months, I've been listening to a few books, one by Dr. Joe Dispenza, Becoming Supernatural, the best book I've read so far, and another book called Inner Engineering by Sadhguru, another amazing book. So you should definitely check both of those out. But while reading or listening to both of those, I get these higher levels of awareness where Life's more about living in the present moment and the beautiful future. Life's more about living in the energy of our future and bringing that in right now. So I get a series of revelations in probably two, three days ago. And I've been doing meditations and practicing Meditation with my eyes closed, handling life with my eyes open with love, feeling love and joy and happiness, no matter what. That's the practice. And it takes practice because it's overriding old patterns of not engaging in life quite like that. So while doing some of these exercises, I just became aware of being someone who loves. So you go from being, I love myself. You actually go from being in a state where you think or feel or both that you're not lovable, you're not loved, you're not worthy, those types of things. And then you build it up and, oh, I, I love myself. I am loving, I am lovable and you build up the love bubble, right? And then there's a higher frequency of love, which would be, man, I just love. I am someone who loves. So I've been practicing being someone who loves. Oh, this is so amazing here, y'all are gonna love it. I've been practicing being someone who loves. And at first it started with the meditation, with my eyes closed, then I'd open my eyes. And then I'd still feel the love. And then I'd put my attention on the energy and the space around me in the room and still feel love. And then practicing talking with people who used to trigger me. And I might have a conversation with someone, a loved one close to me, and they start talking about another person and it triggers something in my mind and I have something to say about it. And I was like, I'm just gonna breathe in love. I'm just going to operate from breathing in love. And man, it helps in communication. It helps in uh, having compassion for others. Helps in understanding. Because when we're just living in love, in a place of love, space of love, when we are just being someone who loves, then whatever situation happens in the world, we can handle it in love. So what does that mean, handling it in love? Well, it means not handling it in fear or anger or frustration or reactivity. Because we're just like, oh, I am someone who loves. I am someone who loves. Take a breath. I am someone who loves. And that's really the practice, is staying with your breath no matter what comes up in life. I am someone who loves. And when someone in your life triggers a response, your mind responds with anger or outrage or uh, frustration or withdrawal or any of those things, you just breathe. I am someone who loves. And you practice that more and more. So that's really the practice. Staying in that vibration of love and being love all the time. And I'm sure there's more because 
It's just like a lot of things if we talk about wealth. Someone's building their wealth. They're like, I'm wealthy. What is wealth? Is wealth, uh, say financially, is it having $100,000? Is it having a million? Is it having a billion? All of it's wealth. So there's a frequency bandwidth that expands into it. So same with health. Same with our vitality. I got to walk through this part. Same with health. Same with happiness. All those things. It expands. It increases. It grows. So as love grows and we experience more and more love and we be love and catch this. You know what happens when we are being love? I'm just someone who loves that the whole universe is going to respond to you in a way with love. So I'm just happy that you're here with me for this message. I'm making a meditation video to follow up this one. And it's a meditation that will guide you actively with your eyes closed and mostly with your eyes open to be someone who loves. And you'll feel that in such an intense and wonderful way in that meditation. And then you bring that forward into your life and experience your life in a most magnificent way as someone who loves. And that becomes the new you. The new you, meaning the you right now, and the autopilot in your body, in your heart, in your mind, in the world around you, in the whole universe. I am someone who loves. Check out that meditation in the next video. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, turn on notifications, and share this video with three or four or five people who could love having more love in their life and creating that as their habitual way of being. I'm Daniel Prock. I love you. And I will see you in the next video.